everyone. Silhouette Ninja, thank you for the follow. Welcome to tonight's uh, leather breastplate making stream. Um, I was waiting for my food to arrive and it never actually arrived, so I kind of just like ate a, um, a granola bar really quickly. Uh, so my food will probably arrive now that I'm actually live and it's super inconvenient, but that's fine. I'll be good until tonight, till later on. It'll be fine. Um, tonight what I have here is a, like, a, a half mannequin that I have prepared. First of all, if you saw my Instagram post yesterday, I had to sand the nipples off of this uh, lovely lady. Uh, for, because for whatever reason, uh, mannequins have nipples a lot of the time. And so this is just the kind of mannequin you would see uh, displaying clothing at a store. But the important thing is that the width of this body is really similar to the width of my body, even though the proportions don't exactly line up. But it's going to be close enough for my purposes, which is just to make this like breastplate shape that just kind of sits right over the boobs, um, uh, over the rest of Celica's dress. <laughs> no nipples. Cool. Uh, so, one of the things that recently changed my mind on how I was going to build this was this picture that someone shared in the chat with us last time, which I had not seen before. Uh, this is like a new scan from the art book that came uh, out with the special edition of the game. I'm going to fold this, actually. So, I got another glimpse at how these layers are all supposed to interact with each other. And initially, I had planned on just creating this decorative piece and having it be a part of the dress, like basically a boob window that's just gonna like sit over the rest of the dress. But because of this image, um, I had to change my approach because it's definitely depicted as a separate breastplate with this white part being a part of the armor that she wears on top of the dress. Evil Crash 9, thank you for the follow. Uh, so what I've got here is the preparations for that. So now I'm going to end up doing this all as one um, leather piece or multiple pieces of leather that are sewn together to create this shape, similarly to how we did the, the shoe armor in my previous streams. So um, in order to prepare this, I sanded the nipples off and then I laid down a piece of saran wrap and just covered uh, all of the areas where I was going to be working and then did a layer of masking tape over that. Um, if you want to see the back of this, it's not even like wrapped around in multiple layers. Oh, that's coming off a little bit. Um, you know what? I'm going to put some tape on this because as I move it around, it's like splitting a little bit. So hopefully I can avoid ruining this before it's time to take it off. By throwing some masking tape over the edge. Florkid has followed. Thank you for the follow and welcome. So it looks like that's where it's rubbing goes. Yay! Pocket cost, thank you for the follow. Welcome! Thank you. Thank you. So before I go any further, let me just really quickly tape up this back part. Hello everyone showing up here in the chat. Welcome to the titty armor making extravaganza. I think it's going to be a good one. I'm excited about this because this is like the shoes were, you know, a fun like accessory to make, but this part is really going to make it start looking like we have a Celica cosplay and that's always really exciting when you get to that point where you can sort of tell what something is going to become. Okay. So now that will prevent my uh, saran wrap from just rubbing apart, which I didn't even really think about was going on as I was moving this around. Okay, so I've just done the center piece of this pretty much, and I drew it on first with pencil, figured out where all my lines were going to be, and then when I was happy with that, I went over it with Sharpie so that it's not super confusing of which lines I'm keeping and which ones I'm not. Um, Otherwise, there is a back portion to this armor piece, but I'm not planning on streaming that today. I might do that off stream just to keep things moving along, because we've really got to step up the pace on this if I want to have it done by Fanime. But that's fine. At the very least, this is what I'm working on tonight. And yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get started. So the other reference image that I've got up shows a little bit more of the detail. Hello everyone. I'm sorry, I'm just like reading the chat again. Titty armor. 
All right. So I'm pretty much ready to cut this apart already, but I wanted to show it on the mannequin because I was doing this work on the mannequin. Um, these boobs are bigger than my boobs, but it's not going to be a problem because this is honestly a great way to kind of alter your proportions a little bit is by having an armor that fits over you that's maybe bigger than it needs to be, which is totally fine and cool and appropriate for the character. So as long as it looks right uh, to Celica, that's what we're going for. Her boobs, these, this mannequin is a little bit more pointy on the on the titty than um, necessarily the reference image, but that's fine. It's going to provide a base for wet molding later on. And so that's why I really wanted to have a, uh, like a mannequin to build off of, because by the time we put these pieces in leather and mold it over, we want a form that um, is stationary that the leather can be wrapped over. <laughs> That's kind of uh, kind of a part of cosplay a lot of the time is that a lot the characters are designed to have huge boobs unless they are designed to have no boobs and there's usually not a lot of in between. There's not a lot of like realistic titty range. It's either like fetish huge tits or fetish little tits. But anyway, that is besides the point. Um, I guess what I'm, what I'm really trying to say is that uh, it's totally fine and a part of cosplay to alter the silhouette and alter your um, your proportions. And that's not something you should shy away from in order to like feel more authentic or whatever, because we're not trying to be authentic, we're trying to be a character. And so that's the attitude that I have with everything that I'm approaching uh, in cosplay, but you can do things however you want. All right, so I'm ready to cut this off pretty much. Got some scissors here. I had a knife. I didn't do a lot of preparing for tonight, but let me grab that. My cat is crying. Maybe that means food is here. The cupcake medic has followed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay, so in order to get this all started, I had put tape going over the edges of my uh, saran wrap, just so things don't slip around a lot. Also, as you notice, I only drew one half of it. That's because this is symmetrical. Um, on the shoe, the inside and the outside of the shoe are not symmetrical, so I had to draw around on all sides of the shoe. But that's the difference between a shoe and uh, a breastplate, is that most of the time, or at least in this instance, this is symmetrical. Aries, please, I'm trying to stream. All right, since you guys can hear him, I already see the, the Aries emotes in the chat. So this is what I'm working on tonight. I'm making a breastplate, you see? Now please, go bother Jared and leave me alone. I love you. <laughs> Hell's Cresso has followed and Paper Boats has followed. Welcome to both of you. Alright. Aries is out of our system. It's out of his system, I hope. Uh, he won't keep bothering us, but we'll see. Alright, so I'm just, I guess I could have just not <laughs> taped that down, but, oh well. Um, the cool thing about Celica is that she's got a strap that's like built into the front of this that is going to go around and to connect to the other side, so this can be totally separate pieces and I don't need to plan for the back side just yet. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you are also approaching this project. <laughs> okay. Cliff 12 has followed. Thank you. Welcome. I also drew on some guidelines for like the other part of her her collar because I wanted to be able to visualize where these pieces are meeting. Um I think it'll be fine. I, I like the placement of where that neckline is hitting. So even though my proportions are not necessarily identical to this mannequin, it's it's close enough that it's gonna be a good guide for me. This part is like stuck down in the center. That's fine. Cool. So I don't even have to peel that all the way off, which is what I'm gonna do for now. Oh, you know what? I'm, 
forgot I forgot to start my music. That's why t tonight is like so quiet. Okay, I did my streaming homework that I said I was gonna do. Here we are. Got the music playing, and I found a um, like stream safe playlist, which is different than the music that we've been listening to. But the plus side is that it won't be copyright claimed um, when I move this over to YouTube, which I didn't mind so much. Um, but people were having trouble uh, watching the streams, sorry, watching the stream archives because they were being blocked by YouTube entirely. Oh, sorry? Oh, okay, let me adjust the music. Okay, sorry guys, still getting set up. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's already super low too. I guess I could turn the other volume down. Okay, let me know how that is. Sorry guys. Uh, ferocious Intentions, thank you for your follow. Alright, I'm gonna set Miss Boo plate aside over here. Can you bring me a drink? The food just got here, great. Uh, so that's something I'm not eating. Maybe a little bit more. Wow. That music is now so low that I can't even hear it. Which is fine. Maybe my mic knows so that's, that's not gonna that's not gonna fix it. Alright, uh, let me know how that is for you guys now. Um but I Yeah, I can't I can no longer hear the music at all, which is I guess just how how the audio settings are different. Okay. Um, Jared will help me adjust that in here in a minute. He's handling our food that just arrived like two hours after we ordered it. So, yay. I guess I'll get to look forward to having my dinner when the stream is over. Is it still... Okay. Can you please help me? Stepped into the room, room and I knew I was doomed to, to fall for you. Okay, um. The moment I saw you smile. Oh, it's. It's not going through the mic, I guess. Now, here we go. My eyes follow close. Sorry, I'm guys. Just waiting for the time to be right to tell you how. Do I need to turn it off entirely from the like the computer side? Is it playing twice if it's going is this just being played through the desktop then is it now also being picked up by the mic and Well that defeats the purpose of me playing music because I can't hear it. They're still hearing it right now. Just playing on the thing. Like yeah, Basically any audio that comes out of uh, your right, I understand that now. I didn't know that was the setting. So if that's the case, then... Alright, it's all good. Okay. Okay, can you help me? I'll put this into a glass for you. Thank you. All right, well, we're just gonna keep going. Sorry about that, dudes. PBG.
so, um, let's see. Yay, okay. Um, Madeline, Madeline is asking, I'm curious what you do with your nails when you cosplay, is it nude polish? I have done that before to do like an anime, like nail look, um, like a nude polish with a matte top coat over that. But a lot of the time I just do nothing um, for my, my cosplay nails, I'll just leave them. Ah, oh, PBG! <laughs> Thank you so much for writing me, PBG. Peep party in the chat. Adorable. I hope you guys like uh, cosplay work streams, because that's what we're doing tonight. So this might be totally 100% different than uh, what PBG's up to. But uh, awesome, love to have you guys here. And welcome to my booby plate armor stream. We got some tits here in the shot to optimize this. <laughs> And I have my lemonade for my dinner that arrived way too late. So awesome. All right, well, I'm getting so many follows that I can't read them, but thank you very, very much, everyone, for following. Yay. This is a, this is a good start to the stream. Okay, so I've got half of it cut out now. Um, I guess I can put it on me and see how that's working, which is pretty good, I think. I might, um, I might make it a little bit wider. But I think that it's fine as it is. All right, anime titty stream. <laughs> this is a good first impression, I hope. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna handle the rest of this is to have uh, these two white pieces, and this is um, what we've got going on here, with my reference image. Um, these two white pieces are gonna have a seam in the middle when it's connected to the opposite side, as well as a seam going down this line. Um, everything else is going to be overlapped. So this is basically the, the exterior is going to be a framework with this interior sitting inside of it. Uh, so I need to account for an extra border uh, around these pieces that are going to be the white center pieces. And just so I don't get really confused. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this chat is just going crazy. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Sorry, I'll get back to like answering your questions soon when I can actually read them, but this is a good problem to have. <laughs> All right, cool. So um, this is the white section of the bust. And oh, you know what, I'm gonna put this back on our titty girls, <laughs> our titty girl, so that I can actually write on it. Um, but this is the white bust. In the center, and then I'm basically marking which way is up because um, I don't want these pieces, once I cut them apart, it's gonna be harder to keep track of them, and so I don't want that to get like twisted around when I'm trying to piece it back together and figure out how that goes. I'm also gonna mark the uh, center front, which is this part, just putting CF there, and then um, I'm just gonna go side, just nest over there. So now, oh, thank you for the follow, PBG. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this apart the same way that I have been cutting out the exterior. Oh, one more thing actually. This guy here, this circular part is gonna be uh, another piece that's set on top. So I need to actually mark that separately. Oh, this is what I have. This is what I've got right here. All right, let me get back to answering questions in the chat. I did not plan on watching a tit-related stream today, but not complaining, says Hank Thrill. Well, good. I'm glad that you uh, showed up here. Um, so Cliff12 is asking, if I'm adding a seam, won't you have to make it bigger to account for that? Yes, but only in certain places, because I'm not doing it in the same way that I would do with fabric. Uh, with fabric, you um, have two pieces that both have an extra like seam allowance on them. And I'm wondering what I can do to have a visual aid. What do I have laying around here that I've actually sewn? <laughs> uh, it's fine. Okay, so you would have two pieces that come together and then they have like uh, a seam allowance where the seam is meeting. I'm using my hands now. Seam is meeting and then this, the seam allowance where my, represented by my fingers here is tucked in on the underside. Uh, leather is, this. the type of leather that I'm using is veg tan leather, which is thick and sturdy stuff. And I can use actually a shoe piece here as a visual aid. So this is uh, a shoe piece that I made in a previous stream. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just all the continual notifications. This is wonderful. Thank you guys. <laughs> Okay, uh, so this here um, is going to have this this X pattern stitch is going to be the same that I'm doing here along the center line as well as the the center front. Um, so that's basically the style I'm going to go for here and here. And so because this is a butted seam where the pieces are just meeting together and then um, that the seam line is visible here on the top and it's just, there's no extra material tucked in. Because of that, um, I don't need to add any extra along these lines, but I do need to add extra along um, the lines where the exterior frame meets the white pieces, and I will talk through that as I'm actually doing it to help it make a little bit more sense. Uh, before that, I'm going to measure this, and this is really close to an inch and a half, which is fine, we can just round to an inch and a half. I'm just gonna make a note of that that this circle, according to my drawing that I made, is an inch and a half diameter. So I can make that piece separately, and for now I'm just gonna pretend like it's not there and cut along the lines that I have drawn out so that it won't, um, so that it won't affect what's going underneath. Because again, the, the circle's gonna be placed on top of these other pieces, so I'm just gonna pretend like it's not there on my pattern. Oh my goodness. So many new followers. I'm just like overwhelmed. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, PVG. Let me check on something because earlier today when I was um, setting up to stream, I noticed that I was getting really close to a thousand follows which is really, really exciting because I'm new to streaming and I'm happy to be doing this. And I'm especially happy that people are responding to it and you know like to see me do it. Um, and I can't see how many followers I have right now because it's not loading for me. Oh, okay. We're getting really close. Oh my gosh, only like 20 more according to this. That's insane. So thank you guys so much for following because even though I didn't say so, it was sort of my goal is hoping to um, get closer to that milestone. And that's really exciting that we're already like Almost there, weird. <laughs> All right, so wow, thank you guys for, for being here and just gonna keep going. So for this, I'm ready to cut out the white part and basically all of the uh, rest of it is going to be remain one piece. I drew some details on there, like for where the borders are and how thick they are, just to give myself that visual reference, but ultimately um, it's still going to remain one piece and that's gonna, that surface detail is going to be added with leather tooling. <laughs> Heidi tap tap. That's right. Oh yeah. So the fit, the Twitch affiliate program is now a thing, which I honestly don't know very much about it. Um, but I'm going to do some research and look into that and probably apply for that right away if I can, because I've really been enjoying these streams and I feel like I've been, um, you know, this is something that I can keep up as a regular part of my schedule. So I want to commit to it and keep doing this all the time. And thank you guys so much for being here and supporting that, that goal of mine because I feel like this has really improved both my work ethic in terms of like planning uh, continuously for, for what deadlines I have coming up, as well as just my attitude because I always have a good time when I'm streaming and interacting with you guys and I'm, I feel very, very lucky that everyone here is so kind and chill. So thank you guys for, for being here and doing that for me and being awesome. <laughs> and yes, I did write chat rules for the first time today, which you guys probably noticed if you were participating in the chat, um, which is, they're, they're very, very simple, but now they exist, so there won't be any surprises when, when Nightbot does his aggressive timeouts. <laughs> All right, so one of the issues here is that this spreads out to be, um, much wider 
But as you remember, when I had it on our, our titty mannequin over here, these are along the same line. In fact, this is a fold line because what I want is for this to be half of the pattern and then um, like do a mirror image to get the, the rest of the pattern. So I need to uh, plan for that. The way that I'm gonna do it is making, I'm gonna make sure that these two get lined up at the same distance they were at when this was all together. And let me grab some um, clear plastic tape and then I will keep everything in, in in line that way. So, be right back. Link fan donated $20. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Appreciate the, uh, the tips that keep my, um, my projects coming. You're helping me to fund my leather work. All right, so I am just going to tape this directly to the edge because I'm gonna use like, this is just a piece of cardstock, by the way, that I'm, I'm about to transfer this to. So I am taping it to the edge because I want to mark that edge as a fold line and um, make sure everything stays in position where I want it. Now, for this to be lined up on exactly the same line, it does cause some distortion but because the leather is going to get shaped over the three-dimensional um, boob form over here, um, that is going to work itself out a little bit later on. So right now, I'm just concerned with like maintaining this, uh, the integrity of this, this center line here, because that is our reference for what the other, or how this, this um, frame part of the, the breastplate needs to be mirrored. Okay, so now this can be removed and this is going to get flattened out. Now, this is where it gets a little bit different than if I were working with another material. Because in a lot of cases, like if you were working with foam, you might want to add a uh, a dart in order to make this material lay flat but because it's leather and because I'm gonna wet mold it it will become stretchy it'll become malleable and as I am um, making this frame piece and laying it over the form here it is going to um, stretch and form and adapt to what we're doing there so because of that I am not super concerned about this being um, really precise to the curves of the 3D, but I am gonna still get pattern weights. Sorry guys, I need to like have, uh, I need to have all my stuff prepared better next time. I was rushing to put everything together today, but I think it's gonna be good. Thank you for the people in the chat who are keeping me up to date with the follower count update. Just a few more, so <laughs> thank you all so much. I honestly didn't expect that we would get there today, but thanks to PBG, who just dumped a bunch of people on me, uh, we might. Travel Sun, thanks for the host as well. Okay, so now I am, um, I want to flatten this out in a way that is even, and so I'm not like starting here and then letting it bunch around and have all of the excess material like uh, lumped in one spot. I want to have it, uh, distributed as evenly as possible because it's going to help us um, to keep everything in line for, for moving this to leather work. So that's why I'm going to start here at the center point so that there's like an equal amount of distortion on both sides or at least eyeballing for that, attempting for that, and uh, kind of try to hit these points by like dividing the space in half, uh, you know, in a kind of eyeballing it way. <laughs> Yay! That is so exciting. Uh, we have reached a thousand follows, which is super, super awesome because I've only been streaming for like a month or so. 
And so this is way faster than I ever expected to, to reach that milestone. And that is really, really gratifying to know that people actually want to be here and watch this stuff. Um, that's really encouraging and makes me want to keep going. So I'm going to keep going. And I appreciate you all being here along for the ride. <laughs> all the Pro Jared Hype icons here in the chat. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry that I didn't read everyone's names out loud today, but that was not going to be really feasible for, for continuing to keep on track with my project here. So now that I've got um, this piece mushed down, even though it's like lumpy in places, that is fine. That is fine for our purposes here, um, given the fact that we're working with leather and it's going to be worked out um, once we get to that stage. With that material is going to be better for smoothing this out. So now I'm just tracing to kind of keep the shape of the perimeter at the very least. I definitely don't like this playlist as much as my other playlist, but you know, having it be usable and not gonna get muted is kind of important, so I guess I'll just settle for that. Maybe I'll make my own, like, uh, custom playlist in the future, but I didn't have time for that today. Uh, Cliff is saying, wait, pattern weights exist? I'm so mad, I've been having to scramble to find a paperweight or a spare cat to put on the patterns. Yep, pattern weights exist, and they are a wonderful, wonderful tool. Uh, these are literally just, like, I think little lead weights. These are older. I got them from a uh, estate sale where oh, it was back when I was living in Texas. There was a woman who had been a seamstress, a professional seamstress, working out of her home, and she was making, like, lots of pageant gowns uh, for, like, Miss America and stuff like that. Uh, well, for, you know, women who were competing in the Miss America pageant. So, um, she had all of this stuff, and the woman had died, and they basically had this massive estate sale that was just, like, descended upon by all of these seamstresses who were picking up her stuff. And I was there, and it was a little bit surreal. It made me wonder, like, oh, what's gonna happen to my stuff someday? And that's not a fun feeling. But, I think it's- so many of my tools are hand-me-downs. I think it's really cool to have these old items, whether it's like pattern weights or a vintage sewing machine or thread or fabric from other people's collections because you're sort of like carrying on the tradition, um, you know, set by other artists. And I think that's pretty cool. I like the fact that a lot of my stuff used to belong to my grandmother. That's pretty neat. Uh, Nightbot can't feel the hype, <laughs> says Icy Writer. What was your name? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I, Nightbot is not a big fan of caps, so if you are um, if you are doing a lot of all caps comments, Nightbot is going to get mad at you and time you out. But it's okay. You can come back to the chat soon enough. Kitten is asking, wait, did they get like her dresses or take apart for the pattern? Or they got her actual patterns, or, or she talking to someone else. Um, as far as the the estate sale that I was talking about, that woman has you know a variety of things for sale, but it was mostly sewing equipment. All right. So now my framework has been drawn here. The exterior is really what I needed from this piece. I'm going to keep it around so that I can copy the detail from it later. But we are good to go on this exterior portion of the, um, the breastplate. Cool. So next what I'm going to do is take my handy ruler, or my handy curved ruler, a very specific ruler, and this is going to help me to turn these sketchy lines into really smooth, clean looking lines. And I'm just doing that by laying it over wherever looks, this pencil is a terrible eraser. Um, 
sorry, laying it over, lining it up as best I can with the curves, and then just continuing to move it and draw the line in small sections as needed. a super useful tool if you're doing any sort of um, sewing or fabricating armor out of leather or foam or whatever. Okay. I'll just go around and clean up my pattern. to like lighten my lines a little bit because I'm just adding pencil over pencil. I guess I could do this in another color, but I don't want to mess with it. I want to have the ability to continue changing it uh, as needed. out in a way that makes the lines connect. That's fine. And this pattern is going to become a mock-up um, before I cut into my leather. So I will have the opportunity to kind of make a, make a prototype and give it a test run and make sure that it is the size and the shape I want before I commit to cutting my more expensive materials. So once again, I'm going to lighten these lines a little bit, and then find that curve with the ruler. Beautiful. anybody has any questions about how we got to this point, I see people are still showing up and coming and going, um, feel free to throw those in the chat and I will try to keep an eye on that stuff. But for now I think that this piece is pretty much good, good to go. And we'll label it. This is the top titty frame. Technical term. Titty frame, and then our strap is going to be coming out from over here. Um, going back to the reference image, I think I want that strap to be maybe like an inch and a quarter. Just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm going to mark the position. Yeah, I think it, maybe just an inch. Let's go with an inch and a quarter, and then I can always make that smaller if need be. So I'm just kind of putting down a reference for where I want that to hit, and then um, as I make the mock-up, I can refer to that and make sure that it is uh, where I want it to be. Is home now oh, now it's playing home. an ad for my other service. Sorry, guys, there's like an ad playing in the background from the music, but whatever. 
That's less than fifty dollars per day. Okay. Hurry in before it Questions? all goes away. Uh, someone just found out that I'm married to Pro Jared. Someone learns every day. Um, uh, Loaderbot says, I do have a question um, concerning the shoes. How will you attach your leather work to the shoe itself? The leather pieces are going to be attached to the base shoe with contact cement, which is um, basically a super intense adhesive. And uh, I'm probably not going to be able to show that on stream because I need to do that outside. Well, maybe I could wear the respirator, but it, it wouldn't be cute if I were wearing the respirator inside on stream. So I'll have to do that out outside. Uh, but you can look up contact cement to know more about that. Um, Owned Sage is asking, what's the status of the wig? The wig was last stream. And I realized as I was um, starting this stream and announcing it, and I, I posted an image to Tumblr, and the Tumblr app on my phone, like, for whatever reason, reposted an older uh, photo that I had put up there uh, from the previous stream. So, yeah, sorry if you came here expecting wig work. That was last time, and for whatever reason, Tumblr just, like, uh, loaded that up like it was a new announcement today. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you can you can view that on my archive here on, on Twitch or on my YouTube channel. And let's see, the wig uh, itself is it's fine. I've done um, I've done all of the the wefts sewing in that I think I'm going to, and so from here on out it's just styling. And we'll see if I do that on stream or not. It might not be super interesting to watch, but I'll make it happen. Uh, Foon Tits is saying, uh, Heidi, what made you choose to cosplay Celica? I wanted to cosplay Celica because her design is just like, honestly so gorgeous. Uh, as soon as I saw this, I was like, that that just looks like something I would make. And so that was my main motivation, to be honest. But I'm going to um, play the game when it's out. and I'm excited about it. <laughs> Location-based ads. Yeah, I wasn't even listening to it. I don't know what they said. But yeah, contact cement uh, for for this leather is pretty much what is going to bond everything together um, to the shoes anyway. Is night mod is night bot a mod or an actual bot? It's a bot. It's a mod bot. Yeah. Okay. Travelsome is asking what my necklace is for for reference. Oh, thank you uh, for drawing your cute drawings. This is a piece of coral. And it has like a little teal bead, if you can see it in the stream. Um, it has a little teal bead that's like glued in, but this is just a piece of bleached coral. And I bought this at an artist alley in a, at a con. It was IckyCon 2016. And I like to buy things um, from the artist alley, like little jewelry pieces whenever I can, because I want to you know, support artists. So yeah, usually when I'm at a con, I'll just walk around and if I find something I like in the in the dealer's hall or the artist alley especially, I'll try to buy it. Get a lot of little fashion items that way. All right, so I am now cutting apart this seam. And this is the center seam of the bust that goes directly over the apex, uh, which is the nipple basically. And once again, because this is leather work, this does not, um, my pattern piece does not flatten perfectly. It's, it's bubbling and bunching up as I'm trying to flatten it because it has a curve, which is, you know, what I want. Um, so and with a lot of other materials, what you would want to do is cut this in a way that you're creating darts and you're marking like where the pattern needs to be spread open in order to recreate this curve. But because we're working with leather, that curve is going to be easy to recreate by wetting the leather and putting it on the form. So I am going to ignore the um, the curve of this piece for now and just oh, I'm going to use a fresh piece of paper though because I need to add add that seam allowance. Oh, that's right. Before I do this, I should make my markings. So this is that center seam that I just cut apart. These two are going to meet along this line. And so because this is gonna be a butted seam in the same style as this one, it does not need a seam allowance. And this also does not need a seam allowance because they're just gonna, the pieces are gonna meet and be stitched together and that's that. Um, everything else, the exterior, I'm gonna write SA, it's not very readable. Plus, um, 
as a reminder to myself to add a seam allowance, but only on those sides. All right, great. And so when I trace that, those will get traced as well. Okay, so this, my stitching, no, that's not my, that's not what I'm gonna use as a reference. What I am gonna use as a reference is this guy. I decided that this border is um, gonna be about a quarter of an inch. And so with that in mind, um, I want the seam to hit at about a quarter of an inch um, of overlap. So I need to double that. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining myself very, very clearly, but I'll, I'll give this a shot. Well, the way that this is going to work is that these two pieces are going to be married together, and they're going to fit underneath this piece that's going to lay on top of them. So they need to have an extra border all the way around the outside that's being covered up by this. And the stitching line is going to be along this existing design line in the top piece. So with that in mind, this stitching is going to be offset by a quarter of an inch from the edge of this top piece. And in order for that to be, um, you know, an appropriate distance away on this piece, I need to double that distance and give it a half of an inch. Um, so yeah, there, there's my, showing my work, my math there is that I'm going to add a half inch seam allowance onto the sides that I marked. And that's really all you need to know. <laughs> So everyone here is talking about their their convention flea markets and artist alley experiences. Um, yeah, I've gotten some really amazing fashion items and uh, bracelets and jewelry and stuff from artist alley. That's where I like to go. And also Etsy. I've been shopping more on Etsy and just trying to support independent designers and people who are just kind of making um, like small businesses for themselves. Um, Hey girl, let me touch the apex. <laughs> it says, hey, it's Shara. And that's, that's very much the correct and accurate term you'd use. Yes, the apex is the nipple. Or it's the, the apex is the peak. So on the, on the titty, that's where the nipple is. There you go. Anatomy lessons with Heidi. Okay. So keeping in mind that there's going to be an extra half inch all the way around that side... I am going to grab some weights here. And start tracing. So I'm just ignoring the fact that it's bubbling up. Um, That can be addressed, I guess I should like flatten this as much as possible. That will be addressed with the, uh, the leather and with the foam in the mock-up that I'm about to make. So that issue will solve itself. Um, Loaderbot is asking, do I have all of my tools organized in a certain way? Yes and no. I sort of have a place of where everything goes, but I don't always put everything back in the place where it goes. So, yeah. Um, I would love to do like a, a room tour video um, that actually shows what my my organization system is like and where my, my stuff is and what it, you know, how it all looks but I just have not made that a priority because I'm busy making things. Got a lot to do. All right, so what I really want from these lines is to average them out in a way that is attractive. Uh, so I'm just gonna be replacing and correcting them. Now, this is the center seam. up direction. And let's say this is uh, side bust will be the name of this pattern. Yeah, side bust. Okay. 
All right. Now I have my other ruler here that makes things easy to see distances straight through it. And I'm lining up this half inch line with like the sketchy line that I drew. And I'm just kind of going around and making these hash marks uh, which will provide the, the skeleton of the next line that I'm about to draw. So now my seam allowance is marked out and I'm going to disregard my original line and just uh, create a new line based on these hash marks. someone for the first time. That's disappointing. Um, everyone here has been so respectful and, and kind up until now and I really appreciate that because you guys have made my life so easy and I don't have to worry about what people are saying in the chat. Um, and if someone comes in from the outside who isn't here to see the work, who doesn't care about what's going on, who is using this chat as a platform to um, draw attention to themselves and to be intentionally offensive that's absolutely not gonna be tolerated that's not what this it's not what we're doing here today so suck a dick all right cool cool the rest of you have been wonderful and I appreciate you being wonderful we will have no more of that and here's my finished side butts piece now just so that I don't get confused, I'm going to erase this original line. There we go. And I'm going to add one more mark. So I've got center bust along that seam and then I'm just going to put outer. Outer edge. For my own reference, to keep everything um, straight in my mind. Now for the other side. Oh yeah, in the chat, that person was, was timed out right away by Jared, who is on top of that. So, uh, no, no, you're fine. It's fine. Everybody, everybody was, it was taken care of. Those, the comments that I saw were not public, so. Uh, Mario, is this like your fourth Twitch stream? Something like that. I think it's, it might be my fifth, but it's, yeah, it's been, um, you know, I've just done a handful of them, but it's been going really well so far, and so I appreciate you all being here and caring about this. Okay. So here we have another interesting adjustment that I'm going to make, which is that in my original drawing, which was three-dimensional, this uh, border is cut out. But I don't really want the piece below to be cut out because this is going to be overlapped. So this has the, the design that includes like this little swirly bump thing. Um, but really I want it to lay over a smooth piece. So I'm going to disregard the cutout and just trace this edge as though there were no little um, indention missing from there. <laughs> Chad, 
Chad. Hey, Chad. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you for supporting my stream. I did not even, I couldn't even read your, your name because it's a bright green color that I have trouble with, but thank you for being here. And happy birthday. Is today your birthday? I'm sorry if I missed that, but yeah, awesome. All right, so now I'm going to continue with my outlining here. Once again, this side is uh, part of that center bust seam. So it does not need a seam allowance. This bottom edge and the top edge do. And there we go. Before I get mixed up, I'm going to continue to mark this center bust here. And then center front. And this is going to be called the center bust piece. I'm not into this music. This music is not my taste in music. Sorry, guys. Let me see about moving forward through this. I do need to create a custom. Um, oh, this is just not cute. All right, this is better. Sorry, guys. I'm still experimenting with what uh, what royalty free royalty free music is available. Oh, it's not really his birthday. It's a super old joke. All right, sorry. I'm not up to date with all of the uh, <laughs> all of the lore. I guess the oldest Chad meme. All right, good to know. Wu Tang playlist win. I don't know that Wu Tang is. Um, I don't know that Wu Tang is on brand. Sorry about that, guys. I think that would give me more than just the, the copyright issues. Okay. So, yeah, this, sorry. I guess I'm even gonna mark my seam allowances before I continue, which are a half inch on this piece as well. Oh, this song isn't good either. This might be a crisis, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it kind of sounded like Christian rock, LMAO. <laughs> Absolutely. Monad XOXO has followed. Thank you. Is that a biology name? All right. Guess I can get back to announcing new followers. So thanks, guys. Now that it's chilled out a little bit. Well, I can't believe we got to a thousand followers in the stream. That's so exciting. I'm, I'm still like on a high from that. All right. My center front seam I drew with the ruler because I know that it, I want it to be completely straight. Everything else gets the curved ruler. Yeah guys, I'm sorry about this music. I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't have anything better to put on right now, but this is not going to be a permanent solution because I am super not into it, and if I'm not enjoying it, then what are we doing here? <laughs> have I watched Atelier on Netflix? No, I haven't, but I really, I've heard really good things about it. I need to just sit down and actually watch some stuff while I'm working. But lately I've been working during all my streams. Hippie Henry, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Let me tell you about a man that was scared because he never seemed to understand. Well, he got old. This is somewhat more tolerable. Well, he got old. The music, I mean. Let me tell you about a man that was scared because he never seemed to find that one. He let her go. Oh, hey, hey, it's Char. Thank you so much for buying the Zelda print. Um, yeah, I ship out every Friday, so hopefully that wasn't you know, too long of a wait, but it, just for my purposes, uh, shipping once a week is way more useful. So on Friday, your print will be going out. Thank you so much for, for purchasing that for me, supporting me. <laughs> Cactus Wolf says that he's gonna personally email Emily Haynes and beg her to let us keep using metric in the stream. 
You know what, if you get a response from her, let me know. I'd love to hear about that. Uh, can't say that I am really expecting one though, but I appreciate the thought. I could change the genre. I didn't think indie was gonna be like this. I guess indie it can be a lot of things, but this is not cute. <laughs> All right, and there we have our center bust piece all worked out. Once again, erasing my extra lines. So this is our entire pattern. Oh, and we have the, the inch and a half circle, which is actually gonna be a part of the other piece, so I'm gonna save that for later. But for now, what it means is that I can um, start cutting out foam pieces after I cut out the card, the card stock, of course. All right, have a good night, Shane Walker. Stopping by. Yeah, this is just not cute. I'm gonna look really quickly and see if I can find a better Twitch playlist. Cause this is not doing it for me. I'm so flaccid right now. Okay, now I've got this future, this featured playlist are pulled up. How about chip tunes? Chip tunes is sounds a lot more um, tolerable to me than like this really mediocre, like dad rock. <laughs> hey, and Cutman is up at the top. All right, guys, we gotta play some DJ Cutman. That's it. This is what we're this is what we're listening to. All right, I hope that this is uh, more tolerable and uh, will give us a better stream going on. All right, well, that problem is solved for now. We're in good hands with Mr. Cutman here. And uh, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we have a, a better mood set for the rest of the stream. All right, this is exciting. This is, this is more energetic. So I'm ready to cut these pieces out and create our mock-up, which is going to be from foam. Uh, I've talked about mock-ups in my previous streams, but just to kind of fill everybody in in case you missed something, um, this is going to be basically my opportunity to test these pattern pieces and make sure that they can still be translated uh, into the 3D shapes that I wanted. So when I was um, kind of mushing those pieces of my, my tape pattern down, I was talking about how the leather will allow me to um, stretch the material over those curves and recreate the curve. I basically just want to take an, my opportunity to check on that and make sure that everything is still the right size and shape that I am going for. And so the reason why I'm going to use foam instead of leather for that is because foam is cheap and leather is expensive, or way more expensive anyway. So foam is a similar thickness and it has some similar properties to leather, although it's way less durable. And so the, the, the result is something that um, allows me to just kind of check my work. And I will show you exactly how that's going down. I am ready to start. Oh, this is so much more pleasant. I'm so sorry, you guys, with the other playlist. That was a... I should have listened to more of it. I, like, screened it early, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is fine. This is some good 
indie tunes or whatever, and that went downhill very quickly. <laughs> Titan 41 has followed. Thank you. Welcome. Cool. And once again, marking this with a center front notation so that when I transfer, I won't have any, I won't be forgetful in how those used to go together. Uh, your headache just vanished. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mediocre dad rock. Oops. Hello, everyone. Um, Carla Driver, thank you for the follow. Also, Matthews has followed. Thank you so much, Matthews. Sorry, I missed your notification there a second ago. Going on over here. Oh no. Sorry. Let me get that music back. It was like playing out of the other one, the other window. I apologize. Sword search. Okay. All right, technical difficulties I hope are, are done with. That was way louder though on the other window. All right, let me know if we're good on volume um, because I, I did change things up a little bit, so yeah. Okay, Sophia Miller, thank you for the follow and welcome. Um, Optical Ambush is asking, what's keeping the camera up in the air? I assume you're talking about this camera. And there is, I have an overhead cam that's on um, like a little mount that just clamps onto things. And I, I literally have like a chunk of wood hanging from my ceiling that, that it's clamped onto. But it's just like a little piece of like one by two uh, that is screwed into the rafter. And uh, it's pretty sturdy. So it's giving me um, an overhead camera that I can manipulate. Which is super useful for this kind of work. Volume's good, says DV Deluxe. Thank you so much. I appreciate that feedback. It could be a little bit lower. Hmm. All right, now Jared had a different setting that he adjusted that on. Torper Bunny, thank you for following. Jared, are you watching this? You are, please help me, thank you. Good. Just a second, let me send him a message in case he's not watching this. I have this habit of calling and or texting Jared from, you know, the next room. He gets a little bit annoyed with it, but it always works. Oh, hi, Jared. You're here. You got my text message. Oh, thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate you responding. Um, I have been advised to lower the volume slightly more because I changed the, the playlist and where it was coming from. Okay. So can you help me with that, please? Yeah, this little booster right here. Yes. That's your volume. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Wonderful. So trim it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right. Once again, we made that adjustment. Let me know how it is, and I can bring it down, up or down as needed. And now I know how. Thanks, Jared, for dropping that knowledge on me. Also, thank you to Rianchi or Rianchi for following. Appreciate that. I also appreciate your sneaky kiss, Jared. Get out of here. Cool. Cool. Um, let's see, Carla Driver is asking, Heidi, how long have you been cosplaying? What was your inspiration? Um, I was inspired by other cosplayers to start cosplaying, more or less. And um, before I was into cosplay, I've been cosplaying regular since like 2012. Um, and before I was into that, I just really enjoyed looking at cosplay. That's the best way to approach this, but cutting out my note here. Perfect. Um, 
I was following cosplayers and I've always been an artist and so I was just inspired by their work to start doing it myself and found out that I really, really enjoy both the creation aspects and the, the wearing aspects, which are both important. Um, and so I've just been doing it ever since. And that's about it. <laughs> Maria Mass says, I feel like a lurker because my hands are too busy sewing to type. That is more than okay. You can lurk here. Um, I like to hear that people are working on their own projects here in the chat. That's exciting. I, I've wanted, um, you know, my streaming places, or my stream to be a place of creative energy and uh, kind of helping to motivate each other. So it makes me happy to hear that people are also working on things. It's not just me. El Angosto has followed. I don't know if that's how you say your name, but that's what I said, so welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I try my best with the screen names, you guys. And if you hear like regularly and I'm constantly mispronouncing your name, please correct me. I do want to learn how to say people's names as they intended them. So just keep me informed. Sapphire Gray, have a great night. Thanks for coming by. All right, so now I have the three different pieces of my um, titty armor. And I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these out of foam. So let me grab those materials and clear a little bit of space. Lunar has followed. Hey Jake, welcome to the stream. I remember you. Uh, let me grab my foam and then I can start tracing these pieces onto the foam. And I will go ahead and set our wonderful titty model aside <laughs> for use in future streams. Next time, well, we might need her a little bit later on. There we go. Just trying to clear some space. Titty hype? Uh, sure, you can do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, gotta roll the foam over here. So this is just like, I think two millimeter foam. Um, Let's see if I have something thicker before I move forward, because I want this breast piece, uh, this breastplate to be made out of pretty thick leather, probably the thickest stuff that I have currently. Uh, so I want my mock-up to match that. So these are just various scraps, a lot of them, uh, from previous projects, but that's fine. This is, I think, five millimeter foam, so it's like half a centimeter. And um, this will be a lot closer to the final thickness of the leather that I'm gonna be using. It's also um, conveniently easier to see on the stream, although white on white, maybe not be. Uh, Jacob MM11 has followed, and thank you. Foam that people have been mentioning asks ferocious intentions. This is EVA foam, Ava foam. Um, this is the foam that most cosplayers use for armor and, and various accessories. Uh, what I, I guess what I really mean is that this is the most common type of foam associated with cosplay. Um, you can use other types of foams as well, but this is like generally what people mean when they refer to foam. And this is just like 
craft foam that I got at Michael's or Joanne or wherever. That piece is not useful for us right now. This one is fine. This is a better use of my material. Pokemon for Life has followed, as well as Bad Wolf 42 has followed. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to get a lot more useful material out of this after I cut this piece, but that's okay. I'm just marking this with pencil because I can. Um, ask you, someone else is asking again what the foam is called. It's called EVA foam or Ava foam. Uh, or craft foam is also just a, a common nickname for it. I really like this remix. This is really good. It's good stuff. This is so much more chill than that dad rock. Ugh. Oh man. Mistakes are made. Crafted Jalapenos followed. Thank you so much for following and welcome to the Kitty Armor stream, although I'm not currently working on the titties. They'll be back soon, don't worry. Gotta get them clicks. Yeah, this music is so energizing, but also chill. I totally agree, which is why it's perfect for what we're doing today. <laughs> I love it when other people also hate Dad Rock. Same, Cactus Wolf, same. Anime titty stream. Uh, I think it's a little bit too much clickbait <laughs> for me, for my tastes. But you know what, I'll, I'll tweet it. Now I'm gonna do a full mock-up, which means doing both sides of the breastplate, whereas my pattern is just um, based on one side. So I need to mirror this piece onto another piece of foam next. And since this is not my final piece and you know both sides are interchangeable for on the foam, um, I can just do that without worrying too much. Fiacol Fiacol has, has followed. Thank you so much and welcome. Also, Clever Words Can Help Me Now has followed. Clever Words Can't Help Me Now. Thank you so much for the follow. It's an interesting screen name. I'd love to know the story behind that. If you want to tell it to us here in the chat. Link Fan says, It's only clickbait if you have an arrow. Arrows in the title. Well, great. I don't have any arrows, so um, we must be good. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to doing this bigger piece because I want to make sure that I have, um, you know, enough foam for it. And before I um, cut it, I'm going to do. I'm gonna mark a center line. And actually, this is not the best color for it. This will work just fine, though. All right. So this clear plastic ruler is awesome because I can line it up, uh, see through it to line up the edges with both my other piece here and um, also the table that I'm working on. Cool. And this is just, I'm just gonna create a, a vertical line. And this is the line upon which everything will be mirrored. Josh Geimer, Josh, Josh Geimer, sorry. Welcome, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, if you tell me how to pronounce it, I will try to learn. Everyone's talking about their projects and what they're working on right now. That's pretty cool. Always happy to see that. Make it a Ren Fair outfit, says Yutsubara. Um, I'm going to the Ren Fair this weekend, I think. I'm pretty sure I am. 
Uh, I'm really excited about that because I have not been, since moving to LA, I have not been to the, the Ren Fair here. I just went to the one that was in uh, North Texas. Optical Ambush has followed. Thank you so much for the follow. Also, Vivio312 has followed. Thank you guys so much. I'm happy to have you all here. with the top half of it traced. I can now just flip it over and make sure that it's lined up with the um, opposite side, of course, and keep tracing. So that's a kind of a trick to being the most efficient with your time, is working on half of it um, and flipping it at the opportune moment. The, the titty frame is all ready to be cut out. So this piece does not need a second piece because the mirror is, yeah, it's, that's how it is. Um, this other piece, I do need to get a second one out of, which I think I can fit into this edge if I budget my space accordingly. Yes, I totally can. Now I'm going to trace again from the, um, the cardstock and not from the foam because it'll add too much thickness if I try to trace from the foam. But um, I just want to keep this consistent. So because I traced the first piece from the cardstock, I need to trace the second piece from the cardstock because the, the cardstock has a much crisper edge than that foam does. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I choose it for my paper patterns is. Um, so that I can get those crisp edges and make, it just helps me be more precise that way. When you're using like a thinner paper, it tends to uh, bunch up more. It's just harder to like get a really clean traced edge. So there we go. And now I need one more of this piece uh, and I will go ahead and cut the rest of this out. Megan6 has followed. Also, I'm a gamer has followed. Nice. Welcome <laughs> to both of you. Did I decide that this piece wasn't used? Yeah, it's too small to be useful. Too bad. I'm just gonna toss those. And deal with that later. Could I? No, not quite. <laughs> I was wondering if I could use that interior area, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna be enough. going to be just about the same on all sides. All right. Um, Kitten says, oh, my chat jumped up. Kitten says, uh, do you keep all your scraps, Heidi, or is there a certain point where you throw things out? Um, I keep scraps that I determine to be large enough to still be usable, which is kind of a kind of hard to judge because uh, sometimes you just need little pieces. But um, yeah, that's sort of an abstract thing. I do keep smaller. I do keep scraps. I just don't keep scraps that are like so little that it's not worth it because then you just end up with a ton of junk and yeah, it just becomes clutter. And I've, I've been guilty in the past of keeping too many scraps, and so I'm trying to, trying to scale that back.
go. That's almost separated, not quite. Alright. Judge Sims Judge is heading out for the night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good one. Uh, Crafty Geek is asking, is this leather or craft foam? It's Ava foam. Yeah, oh, someone answered your question. Thanks, Char. <laughs> uh, is there any difference between Ava, a uh, craft and Ava foam? Um, generally, craft foam is a, another uh, colloquial term for, for Eva foam. Or Ava foam. Um, Dreamer Girl, thanks for stopping by. Lurking is totally fine. Thanks for saying goodnight, though. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> Just throw them out of view. All right, caught up on my chat and ready to keep cutting. Jessafi has followed. Thank you so much. Welcome. Where all my scraps go, they just get thrown onto the ground out of view. <laughs> Optical ambush. Arius has already um, shown up for the stream. He was upset that uh, I don't know. I think he saw like a mailman. He gets so triggered, so he came and complained for a little while. Troublesome is making a drawing for today. Thank you so much. That makes me happy. You know what? Aries might be back. It's still early in the night. So we're only at like 8.30. He could still show up again. <laughs> Mandolin says that she's a male lady. I love cats and dogs. Well... <laughs> My cat does not love male ladies, unfortunately. <laughs> it's so funny because he will literally growl at the door if a stranger is approaching. Um, he's very dog-like in that way. But the the male people are his nemeses. He'll sit in the window and like, as they approach, he'll run to us and start crying to let us know that we have an intruder. Which, you know, at least he has some purpose. He's He's not much of a guard cat, but at least he's an alarm cat. <laughs> no one can get close to the house without him knowing. Elvin Sept, uh, if you want to post a link, you can ask for permission. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, Madeline is saying, I would imagine it would be exciting for cosplayers who are fans of Gaiden when the original came out and all the characters are brand new designs to be cosplayed. Uh, yeah, I I feel the same way. Um, I'm into a lot of like JRPGs that are uh, older titles, although I have not actually played that much Fire Emblem. Um, but I have played a number of older JRPGs that have that similar design style. Killer Meters has followed, thank you, welcome. Um, so I can only imagine how exciting it would be for fans of the original game who were into it, you know, back in the day, to see all of this being revived and the, the same characters and the new designs and new costumes and all of that. Uh, it's probably pretty exciting. But I'm happy to be a new fan. And, um, I just love all of the Fire Emblem designs so much. That's honestly what really drew me to this. You know, people cosplay for a lot of different reasons, and I cosplay for the most part because I want to make cool things. And so I just focus on making cool things, and I think that's perfectly valid. This song reminds me of, like, Persona. I don't know what song it is, though. Let me go check. I can look. Sword Search. No. Moon Garage. This is Ridge Racer Arrange. 2013. Interesting. 
amazing. Link fan is asking, what kind of games do you enjoy playing the most? Um, a lot of JRPGs. That's my like bread and butter for for video games. That's what really. Um, I like the character designs, I like the um, aesthetic of a lot of the, the JRPG titles, so that's what a lot of my cosplays are based on. The Twilight Princess has followed, thank you so much. I'm also a big Twilight Princess fan, in case you couldn't tell by looking at my cosplays. Um, I was really into Breath of the Wild that just came out, and I'm going to be doing some um, cosplay from that later on this year. But other than that, I'm currently playing Persona 5, um, and... The list of my top games of all time is mostly like older JRPGs. Rad Loser has followed. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Quicko Dustal is asking, "How do you cut so good? Holy cow! Uh, practice and <laughs> steady hand." Um, Rianchi is asking, "Do you happen to follow Leo Camacho? He's got quite a few impressive cosplays under his belt. His spikes cosplay being a favorite of mine." Yes, I do follow him. I follow him on Instagram. And he, po he posts a lot of really interesting um, outfits and cosplays and things. So yeah, he's, he's a really talented guy. Uh, Megan6 is asking, what's your favorite cosplay that you've made that, that you're most proud of? Um, definitely Zelda. That's not a hard question. I don't know why I, like, I'm looking around wait, looking for my blades. Uh, but I do not even have to think about that one. Definitely Zelda, 100%. I worked so hard on Zelda. Uh, much much more than I have on any of my previous works, and so I feel like it really paid off for me. Ursa Bunny has followed, thank you, welcome. Also, Labarul has followed, and Crafty Geek, thank you all, welcome. Okay, I'm gonna look for a replacement blade for this because I want my lines to be really clean, so let me grab that before I keep working. But I didn't find my screwdriver to open this. found an alternate solution, which is a different knife. <laughs> so we'll just set that aside and move on. We come back and check out these. Still give us a, a brand new fresh one. Um, Gogo Inaro is asking, have you played older Persona games? P2 gives me life. I have P2. Um, Innocent Sin, there's like the two versions, and I actually have them both because I was collecting Japanese games for a little while. That, there we go. This is like not, I think it's supposed to be upright for, for gravity purposes. Anyway, sorry. Um, yes, I do have both of those games. I never really got that into the earlier Personas. I like played a little bit of them, but um, I wasn't as drawn in to those, but I have played a number of the other Shin Megami Tensei games that are not Persona, such as um, Digital Devil Saga is one of my favorite JRPGs. That game is super rad and the designs are so cool. And um, I always sort of jokingly say that I really want to cosplay the demon form of Ar Argilla, Argilla um, because she has talking boobs. Like her boobs, her monster, her monster tits have mouths. And so her face in her monster form does not have a mouth. It's just she talks out of her boobs and they go back and forth, finishing each other's sentences, and it's the most amazing, amazing character design I've ever seen. So someday, if I ever have the ability to make animatronic talking titties, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cosplay from that game. Cliff12 is heading out for the night. Sorry, I just read your message from a little bit ago. Have a good night and thank you for showing up. Nat Beck has followed a minute ago. Sorry, I was in the middle of my story. 
Uh, but welcome, thank you so much for the follow, and welcome to the uh, booby armor stream. It's still going. Naro also loves Argula's mouth boobs. I'm glad. I'm glad that you knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, those characters, or those games have some just like, wild designs. This knife is like, curved and so you have to hold it a different way, or at least that's what I do. And this blade is so sharp that it's like dragging in my cutting board, so I'm just going to be really slow with it and make sure I'm not putting too much pressure so that it won't accidentally jerk back and cut me. There we are. That is so crisp. I love a fresh blade. <laughs> Jadale says, some people's bucket lists include visiting foreign countries. Heidi is his talking titties. That's so, yes, that's 100% correct. Uh, my bucket list for cosplay is talking titties. Someday I'm gonna make it happen. You guys just wait and see. It is a really cool design though. She's got like, her arm is a whip. So instead of having like a weapon, her arm just like, it doesn't detach from her body, but she goes like Mr. Fantastic for a minute and has this like weird, like long flailing arm that like her hand just keeps going. <laughs> it's the enemy and then whips it back. And uh, I always thought that was really interesting. Although from a crafting standpoint, I'm not sure exactly how I'd go about that. But that's why it's a dream costume and not a part of my current portfolio. <laughs> Her arms are like whip, so whip swords. Yeah, they, they pretty much are. She's a really cool, cool monster design. She's my favorite character from that game for sure. Uh, the game has a really, really interesting premise, which is post-apocalyptic. Ryuk has followed. Thank you so much and welcome. But yeah, definitely check that game out if you have the opportunity. It's on PlayStation 2, which is, you know, it's also kind of a rare title, so probably not something you'll come across unless you're looking for it. But if you have the opportunity and you enjoy JRPGs, I would recommend playing Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. It's, a, it's like a two-parter where you get to the end of the first game, but really it's not the end. It's like, surprise, play another game. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's a lesbian. Love it. Love it! Oh, I totally forgot she has like a a lesbian love like subplot with one of the bosses that you fight. I don't want to spoil that too much, but it's pretty interesting. Oh, but the premise is that it, you're in this, like, weird world called the Junkyard, and all of the, um, there are, like, several rival factions that are, like, tribes that are all, um, vying for dominance. And it gets pretty gruelly. Pretty nasty. Um, but everyone is at odds with each other, and then... And in the beginning, basically, one of one of the groups of these people gets like a, a special weapon that the others are all trying to gain control of. So drama. Let's see. 
Brianna, she is asking, is there any aspect of costume making that you wish you could do slash were better at? Oh, absolutely. There's all kinds of things that I wish I were better at or wish I could do. Um, I guess anything that has to do with working with electronics is something that I really wish I had more knowledge on because I really know almost nothing about it. I have, um, there was like a humble bundle of a lot of cosplay ebooks that I bought uh, that included one that's just on that topic on like uh, LEDs and other electronics for cosplay purposes specifically. And um, I'm reading it right now kind of slowly getting through that, but I would love to I actually have a project in mind that's, that's going to implement that, that kind of stuff. But I'm not there yet. I'm focusing on Celica for the time being. So a lot of the time when I have something in mind for my next project, I will be like doing research and on the side. So even though I only have one like current ongoing project that uh, I need to worry about like publicly updating, I have I have other things on the back burner. <laughs> hey, it's Char asks, what is bias tape used for? Bias tape is used for a number of things. It's called biased because it is um, cut diagonally to the green line. And what that does is it um, gives it a special property of being much more easy to manipulate around curves. Um, so that's a lot of technical terms if you don't if you don't already understand what that stuff means, that might not be a really super helpful explanation, but um, just do a, a quick Google search for bias tape and you can find um, all kinds of resources that will tell you with pictures exactly what that means. And in fact, you know, I guess this might as well be a good time for me to mention it, but um, I did a tutorial about a year ago on how to make your own bias tape and as of now, you can find it on a totally new um, new way, but I, I, I made a website. <laughs> um, my, my website just went, I guess I'm announcing it right now. Uh, it is atelierheidi.com, and I would love it if you would all go and bring that up and check it out and tell me what you think. And at the top of the page, under the tutorials bar, uh, yeah, under the menu, there's a place called tutorials. And if you click on that link, it'll take you to every tutorial that I've ever made, including a list of all of our archived videos from this live streaming series that I'm currently working on right now. So all of that is now available in one easily referenced place, uh, which is atelierheidi.com. So yeah, you guys are the first to know about it. I have not tweeted or shared that or anything. Pro Jared with the link in the chat. Thank you so much, Jared. So uh, yes. Please do me a favor and go check out my website. I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, my goal with this site was to create a place where all of my costumes uh, were archived in one spot with, with costume galleries for each one, as well as all of my uh, tutorials and guides and other references that I've made uh, for, for to, you know, the benefit of other people who are learning. So um, please let me know if you enjoy it. Oh yay, Kitten is posting. We've already got a- oh my goodness! <laughs> my true love is the titty mannequin! Oh my goodness, travel some. this is so cute! This is the best one so far! Oh my goodness, I love this! <laughs> I will retweet that right now. Retweet! Oh, that is so cute. That makes me so happy to see um, artwork from the streams. That is so encouraging. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your artwork contribution. Oh, so adorable. Um, thank you guys for people saying that they're checking out the, um, the website. That makes me really, really happy to hear. I hope that um, that is a, a, a good resource for any of you guys or, or people who want to used my tutorials especially because previously to now, I, I have made a number of tutorials and I try to post them on like my Tumblr for the most part or sometimes Instagram, but um, you know I've made these tutorials and I know that I'm someone who wants to go back and look at previous tutorials that I've seen like 
come across my dashboard later on I think of it and realize like oh I can really use that technique and it just kind of wasn't working very well for me to be like oh yeah I made a tutorial on that subject I'm, sh I'm sure you can find it if you go like search on my tumblr um, it's really not a great way to approach it so I really wanted this website to serve as a um, a resource as an index for all of the tutorials that I've ever made so now that those are all on one page, number one, there's not as many as I thought that, that I thought that there were going to be. But beyond that, it's really good motivation for me to keep filling up that page. Oh, see, we have another ad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, yes, hey, it's Char. It says that she found a, the bias tape tutorial that I made, and that will give you more information, I hope. And so from now on, um, I'm going to do more character write-ups of, of past costumes, which is one thing that I've gotten um, a lot of requests to do, is to talk more about how I made previous things. And so all of those uh, articles will have like all my progress photos and reference images and all of that in one handy place. And uh, I can continue adding to that over time and I'm planning on it. So please do me a favor. Um, if you are interested in seeing tutorials for like a specific costume or a specific technique that I, you know that I used for a costume, uh, go ahead and tweet that at me and I will try to um, like I'll make a priority list because you guys who are here and coming to my streams and interacting with me live, I feel like you are the people who deserve the most from me in terms of um, answering your questions and trying to uh, cater to the things that, that you're interested in. So I, I want to basically try to reward that, you know, the people here are, are coming to the stream who are interested in what's going on. Um, so I will try to prioritize any requests for tutorials or write-ups or things of that nature from you guys here in the stream. So please uh, please do tell me if there's something specific that you want to see and I will prioritize that and try to get it done as soon as I can. So yes, that is atelierheidi.com. I'm going to write it in the chat again. Oh, you jail beat me to it. There he goes. Okay, now I don't have to stretch out awkwardly in front of my... <laughs> workstation so thank you guys so much you're the best it makes me so happy to be here in the stream this is like my happy place to be crafting and chatting um, so thanks for the support and I'm gonna do my best to return the favor by giving you tutorials and information that is helpful to you that you, you want to see so let's let's keep this mutually beneficial all right, and with that, I have all of my pieces cut out, which is awesome timing. And I'm going to bring back my... Shove all this extra foam out of the way. And bring back my uh, paper pattern. All right. So I have my notes here to remind me which side is up and how they fit together. I am definitely going to need to reference that. Okay. So this one belongs there and this one belongs there. CF being our center front. Um, I'm referencing it that way. Eileen Violinist, thank you for the follow. Also, Caitlin and Nearby Nuclear Reactor. I think I, I missed those notifications. Sorry, guys. Uh, thank you all for following and welcome to tonight's stream. All right, that's how that one goes, which means well, there's so many ways which this could get turned around. I think that's how it matches, which means it needs to be flipped over and it belongs right there. So that is my layout for how these pieces are going to be attached to each other. And once again, I need to grab my tape and then I'm going to um, temporarily tape these together so that we can get um, them formed over the titties. I'll bring my titties back and we're ready to move on to the stage of making everything look uh, the way it's supposed to. Let's see this come together in 3D. Oh, Hylian Violinist is saying such nice things in the chat um, that 
she loves the work. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming and uh, joining us here in the stream tonight. It's about to have you. All right, we are back. Bring back the titty, says Optical Ambush. Oh, it's coming back. Gotta get that clickbait. Gotta get those follows. Well, I guess I'll just tear this. I hate tearing it. I like having nice clean edges, but whatever. Thank you for the nice comments about my zero suit. I worked really hard on that one. I would list that one probably second behind Zelda as uh, my most... I don't know if it's the most detailed or if it's just like the most precise. I, I worked really hard on it. Um, the back of that costume is the most difficult thing I've ever stitched. Um, so I was very happy when that came together. Amina says, hi all, this is unrelated, but I just found out horses can swim in Breath of the Wild and I'm freaking out. I had no idea, that's brand new information to me and I beat the game. <laughs> so now I have to go back and play that. Alley Cat, thank you for the nice words about the website. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying that and that it's easy to navigate. Uh, Stri Strike Red Kite says, Malin was surprising, I didn't realize you'd done her, it was super well done. Thank you so much, Malin was one of my earlier cosplays. And because it's an older cosplay and I don't have a ton of photos of it and no new photos, um, I don't post about it very much. So I think a lot of people don't know about some of my older costumes and now you have the opportunity to go check them all out. Oh, it makes me so happy that you guys enjoy the website. I like, spent so long on that over the past week. It's just been like all I've been focusing on. Um, Now this foam being thicker is going to be harder to shape and work with. And honestly, I don't know if this tape is going to entirely do the job. You know what? I bet I can just heat and move it. Let me, uh, let me click this in. I'm just going to be experimenting with this for a minute. So it's so much of crafting is about just exploring and seeing what works. All right, we've got Miss Titties is back up here for her, her use. Oh, thank you, Jadil, for setting that up. <laughs> nice. Okay, now Nightbot is gonna just promote my <laughs> promote my website as well. Oh, thank you guys so much. No, the website is for is for you to check out as much as you want to. So it, it makes me happy to hear that people are enjoying looking at it and looking at all my past cosplay. Uh, you know, some of those costumes are much older and I debated whether I really wanted them on my website uh, representing my work currently. But ultimately I decided that um, you know, I would rather it be an archive of everything that I've ever done to remind myself of where I started and to also remind everybody else because I have made a lot of, um, a lot of improvements in my craftsmanship. Over the past several years. And it's important to remember that I didn't start there. <laughs> so yeah, if you look at my costumes, there is quite a big difference between my older work and my newer work, just in terms of 
complexity and detail and finesse. Yeah, this tape is not going to do really well with holding it in place. I could staple. I could staple this, or I could stitch it, which is going to be my other... <laughs> the thing I was hoping to avoid is, is stitching this damn foam. Um, Pumped Turtle has followed. Thank you, Pumped Turtle. But yeah, this foam is not cooperating. Last time I was able to do this with just some masking tape and folding it, um, but this one isn't gonna work out quite as well. So let me grab my stapler and I'm gonna see if I can um, just cheat with stapler. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have very limited amount of staples. Uh, I'm discovering that I not a lot in here right now, so I'm gonna use these sparingly. It's gonna get harder. I'm gonna move this over the edge. Sorry if this is not on camera currently. not too bad. This is doing a much better job of giving us a temporary fold. Let's put everything together. Just gonna use some heat to make this a little bit easier to bend. Um, Char asked, is that gold armor made out of leather on the website? Yes, it is. Um, the, the big slider image for the tutorials, um, shows off one of my, uh, previous armor projects, which I just have listed under original designs as, uh, golden armor. Uh, it doesn't have a, a real name because I didn't give it one. <laughs> But that is a costume that I created just for fun, really. I wore that to a masquerade ball here in LA last summer. This tape just isn't, just isn't doing anything for me at all. The staples are in between. Miss Raycraft has followed, as well as PDR Adelos. Thank you guys so much for following. Koika Destal says, you can staple foam? I mean, yeah, you can staple most things, just varying degrees of effectiveness. <laughs> uh, I would not count on staples to provide a um, strong or long-term hold but that's not what I need right now. So what they are doing is giving me a wonderful temporary hold uh, that is a lot sturdier than what the tape was providing. Let me peel the rest of this off. And so this center line is, our, is actually our, this straight line is our center line. I'm gonna try to put one more staple in this if I can. Alright, so it's not pretty, but it is giving us um, a temporary hold and I didn't have to stitch it, which would have taken a lot longer. 
so it's going to be a, a pretty decent representation of, of what the stitches will accomplish. Nuttub asks, Heidi, in your opinion, what is the most challenging piece of cosplay to wear? Um, any huge armor, because <laughs> it really depletes your range of motion. Like, I have a Merlot's cosplay on my on my website, and uh, also Sydney Lostero, which is a costume that I made and that was worn by Jared. And both of those costumes, we have full leather armor all the way up our arms and on our hands, like gauntlets. And the costumes are just almost impossible to wear. Um, so that it becomes really, really difficult to try to, to wear that kind of, kind of armor for very long. Don't worry, ladies. I'm much more gentle in real life. I'm gonna try to make sure that's still arranged perfectly straight up and down. The center line if I can. just fine on the other foam. I don't know what it is. Maybe this is manufactured differently. This is not the same thing that I used on my previous mock-up, but that's fine. might end up just putting only one of these boots together for our purposes tonight. But this is how that's going to stretch over. And I'm going to do that piece separately. Pokemon for life! Thank you for the host. Also, uh, Faith! Or 1907 Faith. Thank you for following. Well, Madeline was asking for um, advice on how to stay cool in costume, like it's in terms to the, the weather or heat. It really depends on what you're wearing. Um, I recommend if you're wearing like a fabric costume, um, you know, choose breathable fabrics. Cotton and natural fabrics are going to be a lot more ventilated. Um, or if it has to be like a spandex or something, you can get moisture wicking spandex, which is like for athletic wear. So depending on if you if you know you're going to be in a place that's really, really hot, like a southern climate, um, I would just try to plan in advance as you're making the costume, if you can, to uh, you know make sure that you're not going to be completely overheated. Um, if you are wearing armor, it's a little bit harder. Um, I know a lot of people put like cooling systems in the armor, like little fans and things inside helmets I've seen. So it really depends on um, what your project is and what it allows, but that is the um, there's some steps that you can do to, to keep yourself cool in costume. Definitely plan um, your food and drink for a convention weekend. 
plan that around the fact that you're going to be in costume. Uh, make sure you're eating on time every day and stuff like that. Now with heat, this foam has become a lot easier to bend and mold around this titty shape. So I think I'm gonna try to just go a little bit at a time. I'm trying to maintain this center line here. Um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this chip tunes playlist. I think I'm gonna keep looking for more stuff like this, but I'll, I'll keep changing it up so it's not always the same songs and stuff. Titty doll is fit, so it's troublesome. It totally is. Uh, Red Hat is asking, is this a regular mannequin or one after your own shape? This is just a mass-produced um, kind of standard mannequin that you find uh, in a lot of clothing stores or clothing displays. And where I originally got it was at a garage sale from someone who had a ton of them. I'm assuming they must have, uh, like, I think they were selling at flea markets or something like that, but they had, like, clothing displays. And so I just bought a couple of them. I wish I'd gotten more, honestly, but that was years ago. So I'm just lucky that it's somewhat close to my size, it's not like an accurate representation of my body at all, but it's um, about the same width as my torso, which is what's important right now. Oh hey Des, welcome to the chat! throw some tape down on here to help me hold it in place so that I'm not trying to, to press down everywhere. I can focus my efforts a little bit better. down so that this is not moving as much, although I'm sure it will still shift somewhat because like I said, this um, masking tape isn't gripping the foam super well, but it's doing, it's doing the job it needs to do. Lancia, Lancia has followed and so has Faith Soulpire, or thank you for posting rather, Faith Soulpire. working pretty well for what I need. Now I'm just gonna hold these, I'm just gonna manhandle this mannequin a little bit more. <laughs> mm. Pop-Tart the Strange, thank you for the follow. Man, what are we at now? I can't very easily pull it up during the stream, but I would love to know how many followers we've, we've gotten in the stream alone because way more than I was expecting, so thank you guys. 
Uh, Megan says that you, she enjoyed my Hana Mizuno cosplay. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really enjoyed doing that with Jared because it's, you know, even though we're both doing internet things, we, we don't do the same thing. Um, and so it rarely lines up for us to be able to like collaborate in a way that makes sense and, and comes naturally. But um, doing that cosplay together was really, really fun because he got to be himself. And, you know, I got to be um, cosplaying from a game that was, you know, made by friends and starring friends or fictional versions of friends. And so it was just a really, really fun um, kind of crossover of a lot of different worlds uh, as far as the, the creative people that we know. Mari Kos, Mari Kos has followed. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed wearing that costume. I would love to keep wearing that um, anytime I can go to events with him. Alright. I'm gonna start pulling this up. This is pretty much where I want it. Alright, let's see how it goes on my, on my titties. Nice. I honestly feel like this could be wider though. Like, maybe not. I don't know. I can just stretch it out more. <laughs> Uh, I think that it could stand to be a little bit wider on my chest, but I will address that in a bit. Um, as of right now, I don't know how much more I have to work on for this evening. I, I want to get this in a little bit more of a shoulder state. But give me just one second before I do that. I'll be right back. streaming for that much longer and I feel kind of bad about that because normally I want to have a, a longer stream but uh, not having eaten so far tonight I feel like I should really really go take care of that I'm starting to get pretty hungry but what we have here is a pretty decent representation of what this breastplate is gonna look like once again going back to my reference image which you guys can already see but I guess this one's just for me but, um, yeah, I think this really captures the shape and the size that I was going for. Like I said, I might um, scale it up just a little bit to be wider, but ultimately I think this is a pretty close, um, pretty close mock-up to what I was hoping it was going to look like. Now, with the second boob cup in, which is not assembled, um, I think it will still be all the same size. I do think that this framework needs to be bigger, but the boob cups themselves are probably fine. So I think I'm gonna experiment with adding some um, width without actually adjusting the rest of the measurements. That's where, that's at least what I'm gonna start with. Um, I'll probably do another boob frame, test that, make sure I like it, and then, uh, assuming that all works out, I'll go ahead and, and move on to cutting leather from there. But that is what my next stream is going to be. Um, I am going to go ahead and call it quits for tonight so I can finally go eat my food that arrived several hours ago. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Uh, I, I feel like I had a really good time. And I'm so happy that we hit that goal and I'm so happy that I got to share my website with you guys. Um, so please keep that in your, your bookmarks or whatever if you want to reference um, past streams that we did or past tutorials or um, write-ups that I did for other costumes. All of that is going to be there and I'm going to keep adding more to that as soon as I can and just kind of keep rolling with all of the, the progress stuff. <sighs> Everyone's like in a dancing mood now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in a I better go eat mood. So that is what I'm going to prioritize. So, oh, before you all sign off, I think I'm going to do another stream tomorrow. I'm planning on that. It's going to be like kind of an impromptu stream, probably in the afternoon so that I'm streaming at a different time than I'm currently have on my schedule. Because uh, so right now I'm just doing week, week night evenings and I want to mix it up a little bit and do it at another time so that other people might be able to join in. So tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to plan on doing a bonus stream just so that I can get some more work done because I really need to keep moving along. But thank you guys so much. I'd love it if you can come by tomorrow. If not, then I'll see you whenever I see you. And thanks for being a part of my streams at all. 
Uh, Sentis, thank you for the follow. Also, Catastrophe519, thank you for the follow. Oh, oh, and Zombie just started watching and now I'm leaving. <laughs> Sorry, Zombie, it's the end of the stream, but thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. I'm gonna go enjoy my food and uh, we will continue with Titty Armor Part 2 tomorrow afternoon. So um, keep an eye on your Twitch notifications if you wanna join in on that or just keep an eye on my Twitter and I'll, I'll let y'all know when I'm going live. Thanks, Zombie. Grace is an awesome streamer, so here she's over in the chat, Zon Zon Zombie. Click on her name, check her out, look at her streams as well. Uh, she does a lot of foam armor um, and really cool props and stuff like that. So. Sorry to the people who just got here. This is my long-winded farewell. Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>